What's up everyone, my name is Ben and today we'll be talking about the brand new, possibly the best $300 smartphone that you can buy today. The name is Xiaomi Pocophone F1 and this is, in my opinion, the best $300 phone that you can buy today. It was unveiled just about uh, a few hours ago and today I'm going to be doing a first look video of it. Anyway, let's jump straight in. As we all know, Xiaomi is well known for their extremely, extremely budget phones while keeping high quality components, extreme performance, great cameras and all of that. Basically the same principle that OnePlus uses, but this time they did something even cheaper. The Xiaomi Pocophone P, uh, F1 is, in my opinion, even a cheaper version of the OnePlus 6. It also has fast charging, it has a bigger battery, it has the same specs and in my opinion for the price you really can't go wrong. For the specs the phone has the new Snapdragon 845 along with 6 or 8 gigabytes of RAM and a 4000 mAh battery. Xiaomi used a very interesting technology. It used a liquid cooling technology, basically the same as the uh, one in the Note 9, to reduce the CPU heat which will uh, allow the performance to be even greater, especially when playing intense games, maybe like something like PUBG that requires a lot of power. That is basically a really good way to take out some of the heat and to at the same time Im improve performance. The phone will have a 6.18 inch display with an aspect ratio of 18.7 to 9 and the display will be 1080p, which is also really good. The F1 will offer all these features for just $300 when it comes to India next week. The funny thing is when I looked into the development of this phone, the lead developer or the product designer took a very interesting approach. Basically they had Xiaomi employees browse through all the Reddit forums, uh, YouTube videos and basically where us tech geeks hang out and read all the comments. They read all the comments on their previous phones and they basically uh, asked people or took their feedback and improved exactly what they wanted. That's why we have so much RAM, we have the latest and greatest CPU, we have insane liquid cooling tech and we also have a really big battery. They basically took their uh, user feedback and implemented it into the new design and performance of the Pocophone F1. In my opinion, the Pocophone F1 is the best phone Xiaomi has ever produced. Not because of how premium it is, but because of the specs and the price that you're paying. As I said before, I always look at the price to performance ratio and with the Poco F1, you really can't go wrong. For the materials on the back, they use a poly polycarbonate plastic and the phone is available in red, black and blue, I believe. Um, they used a very interesting approach, which is actually true. I have never in my life used a phone without a case. So in their theory, um, they said that the design or the materials used on the phone on the back doesn't, don't really matter that much as 99% of the users just, case, uh, just use a case anyway. So that is another way that they use to cut costs. Another way that they uh, use to cut costs is instead of implementing the newest and greatest and the most expensive Gorilla Glass 6, they implemented an older, cheaper version, Gorilla Glass 3, which is a very good way to cut costs. The phone is really cheap but also trendy. On the front you have a 20 megapixel camera for selfies, which is apparently quite good, and at the back you have a dual camera setup paired with 25 different AI modes to recognize different objects. The camera, in my opinion, won't be, won't be all that good, but it will be quite solid because at the end of the day, they did focus on the specs. The F1 runs uh, Android 8.1, so the latest and greatest available, with the MIUI 9.6 skin over the top and the MIUI 10 should be getting released quite soon. The phone also supports face unlock, fingerprint sensor, uh, pin unlock, but the company suggests uh, using a pin unlock or the fingerprint scanner because they're the safest and because, well, the fa face unlock feature is just not so much uh, so reliable for security. So the base model will be launching for $300 with 6GB of RAM and 64GB of storage, again for $300, and the most expensive armored version will be, will be launching for $429 with 8GB uh, of RAM and 256GB of storage. In my opinion, you can't beat the price. Nothing ever comes close to that, maybe something will come close, but at the moment, this is the best phone you can buy if we compare the specs 
uh, the really performance to the price ratio. In my opinion, this phone is absolutely incredible, but please don't hesitate and leave your comments in and your opinions below. So without further ado, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you all next time.